Hey there, how's it going? Today I have a question from Stephanie. She writes in and asks, how can I create a link that will send my peop readers down to a different spot within my blog post? Great question. These are actually called jump links, sometimes referred to also as anchor links. For years, I never knew what these were called, officially called. I just called them links, like lots of words. I was just like, links that send you down to other places in your blog post. They're called jump links or anchor links. There are three reasons why you might want to use these jump links. One, you know, just as if there is a certain area within a blog post you want to send readers to. Two, you can use jump links to create an index for super long posts. Or three, you can use jump links to create more engagement and um, a very active reader, right? So let me show you some examples um, from my own site and then we'll dig in on how easy this is to do inside Gutenberg because Gutenberg makes it so easy to create jump links. Before we were having to kind of hand code them and now they are super duper easy. So I can't wait to show you how to implement them. First, here's some examples. All right, this one is on one of my landing pages. This is for my free course. And this button here is a jump link. So I'm just trying to get them engaged with the content and to be act to encourage action because I want them to eventually take action. So we're just going to start getting them in that mindset of taking action. So you click here to learn more and it just keeps drags, it just drags them down. Yes, they can scroll, but this is just helping guide them through the process. All right. Um, next thing, this is my how to start a blog article. It's a very long article and I give a pretty good introduction, right? So I add this at the beginning. It says, before we get into the technical details of starting a blog, I want to talk about what you need to be a blogger and answer some frequently asked questions. Now, some people might not want that, right? So I also provided this and said, ready to get started, skip to the step-by-step -step instructions. So you click that and it's just going to take you all the way down to where the step-by-step -step instructions start. Now, the last post I want to show you at, I haven't implemented yet, but we're going to do that today for the tutorial. So I have this blog post. It is a little bit long as well. And down here, I talk about five different sections that I'm going to address in the blog post. And then each of these sections is its own subheading. I want to turn this section into jump links. We're going to make it like an index. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you can implement these on any of your blog posts or pages as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is there are two parts for the jump link or anchor links. There is the link itself and then there is the anchor text. So you have to make sure that both pieces work together and that they match up in order for it to work. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go down to the section that I want to create. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and I'm going to just create a link as normal. Now, if the link that you are trying to create, the jump link you're trying to create, is inside the same URL, you don't have to put the full URL. You can just put the hashtag or pound sign. In this case, it's more of a pound sign. And then you're going to create whatever you want the anchor link text to be. So I'm just going to put hosting for this one. Okay, and it's going to show you, see this is an internal link. And then press enter to add this link. And then I'm going to come down to this section, which is hosting a domain. This is where I want this link to direct us to. And over here, there's going to be document and block. You might have to click advanced and you're going to see this HTML anchor. So we're going to add in that same anchor right there, hosting, right? So they have to match in order for this to work. Then I'm going to go on and do the next one. Link it. go down and find it. And you're just going to keep going and do them all. Let me finish that up real fast. Okay, so I've created all of my jump links. So I'm going to hit update and view the post. Okay, so now if we scroll down, you can see they are all linked and click it and it's going to take me down to that section. For those of you that like kind of the nerdy details, let me just quickly show you what that looks like from the HTML's perspective. So as you can see, the links are just your normal A links with the hashtag and then hosting. And then same thing 
Let me switch here. So it gives the heading tag an ID as hosting so that they match there. Okay, so super easy. Now you know how to create jump links. You can go and implement them yourself in your blog posts and your pages to help guide your readers to the content that they need to be reading or seeing. Okay, here's a little bonus tip for you for those that want to take this just a little bit further. You can create different pen images now for each of these sections and link to them on Pinterest using the jump link URL. This is going to give you the opportunity to create more to create a wider variety of fresh pins and to use different unique URLs. So go ahead and design different pins for each of these and then when you create the pin and add the link, make sure to copy this link address and then when you head to Pinterest, create that destination URL is going to have the jump link in it. So just a little pro tip for you to help you increase your pin ability. See you later. Have fun creating jump links in your blog posts.